Hey everybody, Judge Evans here with a suggestion for parents who will be appearing in front of me in a shelter hearing. As you know, shelters are considered essential and they are continuing as usual. My preference is that everyone appear via the Zoom app. You go to www.zoom.com. Your Child Protective Investigator will have given you the meeting code. All you have to do is put in the meeting code and then when it's time for the shelter, I will allow everyone in to the meeting. The hearing time is the same as the meeting time. So one of the things we do at a shelter, if I shelter the children, is see if parents qualify for counsel. The way that we do that is we have parents fill out an indigency application. It looks like this. And you can get this in several places. One of them is um, my website, which is at www.ca.cjis20.org. Click on Charlotte County, click on Circuit Judges, click on my blonder, thinner self, and then go to my downloads, and the very last item is the indigency application. It is not this exact form, but it'll do. Print it out, complete it, and if you uh, can, before the shelter hearing, get it to the courthouse. You can take it to the clerk on the first floor. You can take it to the drop box. You'll see, if you go to my Facebook page, you'll see a picture of me pointing at where the drop box is over by the commercial boxes. Uh, but you need to get it to the courthouse. If you are ha going to appear in person, if you absolutely have to appear at the shelter in person, you can still download this, fill it out, and bring it with you so that it's ready to go. We are doing our very best in the courtroom and in the courthouse, keeping people distant. I don't know about you, but I really don't want to be quarantined. So I'm doing my part to keep people away from each other in the courthouse and in the courtroom. If you absolutely have to appear in person for a shelter, you may be the only person in the courtroom. For some, I'm going to be appearing remotely as well. So all of these rules that I am asking others to follow, I am following myself. Okay, now you know where to find one of the locations for the uh, indigency application. The other one is at www.flcourts.org. I think it's .org. But if you look up the Florida courts and then search for indigency application, you'll find it there too. It's faster to just go to my website, which is again, www.ca.cjus20.org. And on that note, my dog greets you and I say good day.